In today's Family First, it is a story that made national news last week. Florida authorities are investigating a girl's suicide, allegedly prompted by online bullying. And now the parents of one of the girls arrested in the case could be charged as well. The Polk County Sheriff said evidence indicates the parents allowed the girl to post the bullying comments online. The 14-year-old girl continued to post online even after the girl's suicide. Her family claims her computer account was hacked. Joining me now is Jackie Wright of the Center for Play Therapy in Madison to talk about the role parents must play in counseling their children about bullying, whether it's bullying in school or cyberbullying, because this is the worst case scenario yeah. that we could see. Yeah. But then the parents not taking an active role. Yeah, and thank you, Christine, for having me. Uh, this is such a serious topic and something we absolutely need to talk about. Um, you know, parents, the best way for parents to um, become more involved in their child's life and essentially become an outlet for them to talk to and uh, feel supported by is to monitor your child. Uh, now, does that mean looking into what they're doing online? Do you, do you advocate that, parents watching what the kids are doing online, having their passwords? I do not advocate for spying. I advocate for communication and open communication at that. Um, it's really important for parents to recognize the importance of communication with your child. Mm -hmm. um, sit down and have a conversation about responsible use of technology. Model good behavior, both face-to-face -face and online. Um, and above and beyond, before you give your child a cell phone or a computer, and for those of you who have a computer, or have your child have a computer or cell phone, um, go to the Cyberbullying Research Center's website, download a contract for internet use, and download a contract for cell phone use. Sit down with your child and talk about the importance of safety, protection, um, and responsible use of technology. Yeah, on both sides, whether they are the bullier or they Absolutely. are being bullied. Absolutely. Now, what about if you're a parent and another parent comes to you and tells you, look, your child is out of line. Uh, at school, he's, he's hurting this child, or on computer, mm -hmm. he's hurting this child. Right. What do you do? How do you respond as a parent? Well, as a parent, I think it would be best to talk with your child. Ask your child questions, not in a way that suggests that you are assuming that he or she is doing this, but sit down and have a conversation. Uh, what's going on at school? Um, how are your friendships? How are your relationships? Um, and if the child is not able to converse or talk to you about this, um, use the school as a resource, as a guide to navigate the waters of what's going on between you, your child, and your child's friends and peers in school. That is so very important right now. It is, absolutely. It's a very important message to talk to your children. You know, not because I would say, boy, are they in trouble. Right, but right. But coming at it from a different angle, making them feel comfortable, because I think most kids anyway, when they're asked questions by their parents at any age could shut down Absolutely. to go in that mode. They're defensive. They, they, and if anything's going on at school that they have a really difficult time dealing with or coping with, it's going to be that much harder for them to talk to the parents. Um, utilizing resources in the area, the therapy, various types of therapy or other different resources in the area will give them the opportunity also to have a mediator to help with communicating with your child. And you just opened up the Center for Play Therapy yep, in, in Madison. In September, absolutely. And that's a place where kids can go and it's not just young kids up oh, to... No, up to 18. Up to 18. Uh, and for teenagers and especially with regard to bullying, I address it in a way that is expressive and creative in nature, art, drama, poetry, things like that. Well, thank goodness you're bringing a totally different approach Thank you so much for oh, your time. Thank you for having me. If you would like more information on the Center for Play Therapy in Madison, please go to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on news links. I also liked what you mentioned about the cyberbullying and the bullying contract. Absolutely. I think that's incredible. It paves the way for communication, which is important. And where was that once again on the... www.cyberbullying.us, the Cyberbullying Research Center. Good information. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Charlie?